Good morning, family in Jesus. Uh, welcome here again this morning. Um, I I couldn't sleep last night. Uh, the Lord has really been busy, busy talking, busy sharing, uh, busy revealing um, about what He is getting ready to do in and through us in this new year. So um, I'm up very, very early this morning, very early. And um, I want to share with everyone um, a scripture this morning, a scripture still remaining with the, the theme about first taking care of myself, first uh, making sure that I am right with the Lord um, before I try and correct someone else. So if you want to follow this morning uh, in the Word of God, I'm going to be reading out of the book of Ephesians. And I'm going to be reading out of Ephesians chapter 5, if you want to follow this morning. Chapter 5 from verse 8. This is, um, please keep in mind, still the theme of taking the plank out of my own eye. So the Bible says, Ephesians 5 verse 8, For you once were in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Listen how beautiful this scripture is. The, the scripture is written in such a way that it doesn't say, I once was in darkness and now the Lord is my light. It says here, but now you are light in the Lord. That is a beautiful, beautiful scripture. And, and brother and sister, this, this morning if we grasp this revelation that um, you know before we knew Jesus we were completely fumbling around in the darkness like a blind man not having any direction not having any plan any purpose we were just grabbing onto anything and everything to try and survive just for dear life just to keep us afloat in life and here Jesus comes and he pays the ultimate price for us. And he calls us into his kingdom and he raises us in his kingdom. And he teaches us through his word and through the Holy Spirit how he wants us to act and react. And how he wants us to, um, to talk and speak and how he wants us to um, motivate and encourage and build up other people. And here... This beautiful scripture comes and, and the Lord says to us that you've now come to a place in your life where you are the light. The Bible describes Jesus Christ as being the light, but now the, the word of God comes in this beautiful scripture and says that you, you are the light now. When people that are lost look at you and look at me, that's the first thing they see. They see light. The first thing they see is they see direction. They, they see, they can for the first time see what's happening around them. That's a beautiful scripture there. Then the Bible goes on and it says, Live as children of light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord? Again, a, a beautiful way that the scripture is written. Um, the Lord calls us into his kingdom, but he calls us into his kingdom as, as workers. We've gone, we've gone over that and we've gone through that. The Lord has called us as workers. And yes, we get the everlasting life for free through Jesus, but... Every single day walking on the straight and narrow, it is still work. It's hard work. And here this scripture comes and he says, even though we are the light, and even though we are children of the light, so even though we are light, and even though we are God's children, children of the light, the Bible is directing us here and saying to us, seek the things that please God. Which means that even being the light, 
There are going to be things in our life, family in Jesus, that are of the darkness. And they do not please the Lord. And here the scripture comes and it says, um, seek uh, and find out what pleases the Lord. Verse 11, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds. Excuse me. <coughs> have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of the darkness, but expose them. For too long, brother and sister in Christ, the church has been silent and has been quiet about sin. For too long, the church has been tolerant with people just moving around in sin and, and, and displaying sin. Here the Bible teaches us that if I am a child of the light, and I am finding out what pleases God. The next thing is, in righteousness, to have nothing to do with the darkness, but to expose the darkness and the deeds of the darkness. That's our, um, that's our call. That's, that's a command from the Lord to expose the deeds of the darkness. The Bible goes on in verse 12. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. And everything that is illuminated becomes a light. Here. This scripture is clearly speaking about you and me and our personal walk with the Lord and removing that plank out of our own eyes, exposing that, that truth. Going to the Lord and saying, Lord, here's, here's this plank here. I don't want it anymore. I, I want to give it to you. It's exposed now, Lord. It's yours. Take it and destroy it and cause in me to become the disciple and the follower that you choose me to, to be. Verse 14, this is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 15, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. So family in Jesus, here we have it this morning, plain, out, straight out of the word of God, where the Lord is guiding us this morning. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Where the Lord is guiding us this morning to stay in the light, to stay as light, we can only do that once we have removed that um, plank from our own eyes. So I pray that in today, you and I will both be successful in doing this, effective in doing this. I'm still carrying the plank around wherever I go as a reminder that you know, we as, as human beings, family in Jesus, we can fall and falter at any time. Paul even says in the word of God, we mustn't say that I will never fall and I cannot fall. Because it's right there that I do fall because that's arrogance and pride. But if we remain in the word of God, and we stay with what the Holy Spirit is doing in our lives right now because He is doing something powerful in our church. He is he's growing our church. He's expanding our territory. He's, he's blessing us by, by adding numbers to um, our, our congregation, to the body of Christ. The Lord is doing something powerful. Family in Jesus. As long as you and I 
stay at the throne of the Father. We look to the cross of Jesus. We want to pick up our cross and follow Jesus. We want to take the plank out of our own eye and make sure that my life is sorted before the Lord. And then we become the light and the motivation and the encouragement to all those around us. So I pray today, family in Jesus, that that will be you and I, you and I, that we will be able to stand firm today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and that we will be able to be the scripture that we read this morning. Not only read it, but that we will be it. That we will be the light. That we will find out what pleases our Father. And that through that, that we can display our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father God, for the gift of life and for your word. We thank you for... For we know, Lord, that our future is in your hands. We know, Father God, that it is going to be glorious, Lord. We know, Lord, it's going to be hard work. And we are going to have to be alert and awake every second of every minute of every day, Lord Jesus. Because the enemy is walking around like a lion, looking who he can devour. He's just waiting for us to fall asleep, Lord. He's just waiting for us to lose our concentration and step away from you. That's all he's waiting for. But I pray, Lord Jesus, that we will never be caught of God. That as you promise us that you will never leave nor forsake us, that we will remain with you as well, Lord Jesus. Please bless us today with strength, Lord. Please bless us today with wisdom, with knowledge, with insight. Lord, and we pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name alone. Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. Thank you again for, for your time. I, I am very, very aware that um, time is valuable. You know, if we lose money, there's always a way that we can get more money. But if we lose time, we can never, ever recover that time again. So I, I want to acknowledge this morning that I am grateful and thankful that every single morning, afternoon or evening, um, you sit down and, and you spend this time with me. I want to believe that it draws us closer as a family. I want to believe that it draws us closer to the Lord. I want to thank everyone that has... Um, encouraged or motivated someone else also to watch. Um, I'm excited every time I go to load a new video and I see one or two new subscribers. Um, so I thank you. I, I, I acknowledge that um, it's your time that you are giving up. And I truly hope that whatever the Lord gives us in these sessions, that it fills you, that um, it, it motivates you, it encourages you, it helps you to, to, to move forward and, and, and to draw closer to the Lord. Because if that is not the case, then I might as well stop this. Um, but if it is, then may we continue together as a family in Jesus doing this. And uh, may you have a blessed day today. Really, that is my heart and my desire and my prayer for you today that you will have a blessed, blessed day in the name of Jesus. Until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.